Hey guys, it's Jen LaForge. Welcome to Joyful Living. Uh, one of the things I'm going to be doing over here on my brand new space on YouTube is showing you guys different product reviews for things that I buy and love. And today's is the Everywhere Secondary Carry-On Bag by Away Travel. This is not sponsored by Away Travel in any way, shape, or form, but I got the bag. I've been using it frequently. When I was looking at it, I was having a really hard time finding reviews for it, so I thought I would do one of my own. If this is your first time here, I'm so glad that you came along, and I hope you like it. Okay, so I've been using the Away Travel Larger Carry-On for about three months now. It's been on four different trips. It's been international. It took a trip down my driveway because my husband was unloading the car and Anyway, it's, it's had some wear and tear. I'm happy to report that that bag is holding up beautifully. I'll put a link right here to both the packing video I did the first time I used it and also my unboxing. And the way that Away Travel works, and this is a little insider YouTuber thing for you guys, when you purchase an Away Travel bag, and this isn't just for influencers, this is for anybody, they give you a referral code, and when your friends buy the bag, you get $20 and they get $20 off. Well, I put that referral code in the video that I did, and I earned enough money to buy this other bag that I had really had my eye on. It is on the pricier side. And I have to admit, I was a little skeptical about was it really worth the amount of money that they're charging for it. So I'm gonna show you the bag and, and let you kind of see for yourself. Unfortunately, I do not have a discount code for you this time. Away has a limit on how much money you can earn using those links. What I would do if I were you is go look for somebody else's review and see if you can find that link. And also, I think there are other ways to get that $20 off. So definitely look for a coupon code if you're either going to purchase the Away Travel suitcases or any of their other products. So this is the bag. If you are coming over from my main channel, which is mostly Disney focused, I would love to see you guys over there. Then you saw me do my full packing video yesterday. We are spending 10 days in California. I'm going to a work conference, Disneyland, and then a week on the beach. And I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Uh, but I didn't show everything that I had in this bag because I was saving it for this video because I figure it's better to do a review when you actually see what the features are and see it in action, if you will. So um, the first thing that I noticed when I got the bag is it is very well constructed. It is like a vinyl material and it's completely stuffed right now. Uh, but I did like that because it is, you can just wipe stains off. It comes in a leather version as well. It also came with a cross, uh, you know, a big strap. I didn't even put it on here because I'm not going to use it that way just because it's bad for your back. You probably shouldn't use it that way either. <laughs> Um, but I do like the handles on it. I like the shape. I like the color. It kind of has that Mary Poppins carpet bag feel to it. And that's actually how it works too. So it's almost like a, you know, those old fashioned doctor's kit bags maybe. So the first thing I'm going to show you that I completely fell in love with is the way that it fits over the telescoping handle of the Away Travel bag. If you uh, go see my other videos, you'll see how that works. And I'll probably, you know what, I'll take a picture of it on the Away Travel carry-on so you can see. Ergonomically, it doesn't topple over. So no matter how full I stuff this bag, I've never been standing in an airport. You know how sometimes your whole rig will fall on the ground? And that's not super fun. This is designed to fit on top of the Away Travel rolling bag. So that part alone, I love, but also it fits really easily over the telescoping handle. So you guys know I travel alone a lot, so it's really important to me that I have like one-handed. So I can go through the airport with my rolling bag and this on the telescoping handle and still have my other hand free. It makes me feel more secure. I can have, you know, I can take a phone call. I can do all of that kind of thing. So for that reason, as a solo traveler, very convenient. The other thing I love is look at this zipper pocket right here. And as I go, I'll show you what I'm carrying in the different pockets. 
Right now, all I have in there is my card holder that I'm using for this trip, but also in here, I'll put my boarding pass. If I were traveling internationally, that is where my passport would go. There is nothing worse than traveling and throwing your boarding pass in your big bag and not being able to find it. You know, yes, I have it on my phone more often than not now, but nonetheless, I like having things at my fingertips. I also like the security of that because as I'm rolling it through the airport, this pocket here is closest to my body. So I'm not worried about somebody getting into it if I'm distracted or whatever. This pocket also has two, let me see if I can show you, two additional pockets. And I just have a pen in there right now, but there is some organization in there as well. And then on the other side of the bag, there is this slot for your cell phone. So that's also nice because you don't wanna have your cell phone just floating around in your big bag and not being able to find it. So I like that a lot too. Okay, let's get into the bag. Really good zipper. Now this bag does have the away travel warranty just like all of their other products. So if anything should break, they will actually pay shipping for me to send it back to them. One of the things that is like my absolute favorite is the way this puppy opens up. Look at this, look at that. I love a bag with a big mouth. <laughs> Maybe I like people with big mouths and bags with big mouths because you can see everything. It's not dark. It's not this big like you're reaching in. Everything is visible and accessible when you open the bag. When I show you what is in this bag, you are gonna be blown away, so hang on. Okay, now um, keep in mind, this is a longish flight for me. I think it's four and a half hours to Orange County Airport. So I do have a lot of items in here. This again is the bag that will go underneath the seat in front of me and my um, away travel bigger carry-on will go in the overhead. Um, the first thing I come to is my makeup bag. Uh, this is my cute little Disney makeup bag with the sparkle donuts on it. Um, this channel isn't supposed to have Disney, but it, you know, it's gonna sneak in every once in a while. <laughs> um, so my makeup's in here, my deodorant is in here. A Couple more things I still need to add in here that I'll add when I get ready in the morning. So it's got that in there. I've got my book. This is the second book in the Crazy Rich Asians trilogy. Uh, my son gave these to me for Mother's Day. I just finished the first one and loved it, so I'm excited to start this. Great beach read. I've got my iPad, and this is uh, this cover I just love. It says, life is short, live it. That's good, right? So just my iPad is in there. I've got my Cocoon Grip It. Um, I'll put the link to this down in the description box because a lot of you have asked about it. This thing is amazing. It holds all my cords. I have everything where I need it. I have my headphones, my external battery, all nice and organized. I have my journal for this trip and it is a work trip, but it's also a Disneyland trip. So that's why we have a big Mickey. And my travel documents are in here. This is where I'll also keep all of my tax receipts because part of it is a work trip and we're still going. Um, I have this little Disney bag has my contacts and my contact solution. I still need to add my regular eyeglasses to this. For those of you that are nearsighted, you know, uh, sometimes contacts can be weird on the airplane. I may wanna pop those out and wear my glasses instead. So I wanna make sure that's really accessible. I have my liquids bag. I am TSA pre-check, but I still think it's a good idea to put your liquids in a separate bag. Sometimes TSA pre-check is, you know, either closed or whatever, so never a bad idea to still have your liquids be separate. I have my camera bag. Now this has my Canon G7X, my SIM cards, my extra batteries, my battery charges, those are all in here. It's actually a cosmetic bag, but it fits my camera perfectly and it's a lot smaller than all of the other camera bags I looked at. Oh my gosh, I got a pile over here, you guys. I have in here my sunglasses. Now these I am trying. I've usually worn the Gooder sunglasses um, like for running. What do you guys think of these? I kind of like them. I thought they kind of had a California vibe. Um, but these are not Gooder. These are by Tifosi. Tifosi? It's an F, isn't it? Tifosi or Tif how do you pronounce that? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, I thought they were super cute. They didn't have, I went to my local running store and they didn't have the gooders and the color that I liked, but I really liked this color. So I thought, oh, you know what? For 25 bucks, I'll give these a shot. I'll see if I can find them on Amazon and put those in the description box as well. I have my noise canceling headphones. Now these are really small and compact. I also have the big ones, but they take up so much room in my luggage that um, I really prefer these smaller ones. But the noise canceling feature 
feature is super important because I do get stressed out with the noise on an airplane. We're not done. <laughs> and then I have, this is what I call my cabin bag. Now this is the thing that is like the biggest tip I could give you guys for when you're traveling, especially on a long flight. As you guys probably know, or maybe not if you're new, I travel overseas a lot and I travel by myself a lot. And you wanna have a smaller bag that when you get up to go to the ladies room on the airplane, you're not rifling through your bag. In here, I have just like some comfort items that make me feel a little more human when I'm on the flight and things that, so I can easily grab this and run to the restroom and come back feeling refreshed. Um, in here, I have a pen and a little pad of paper in case I need to take notes about anything during the flight. I have tissues. I have Clorox to go wipes because if you've ever been in a hotel bathroom, wiping it down before you do your business in there is like the best tip I can give you. This is an excellent idea. Just make sure you don't flush them. Put them in the actual trash bin. My airline pilot husband would appreciate that. <laughs> um, I have uh, these little Max Fresh Wisps. Um, this package, I still have one left. These are great because you can you know, brush your teeth really quick before you land. I have Altoids, which are upside down and they also can be right side up. <laughs> I have a little wet one in case I need to clean up before I have a snack or whatever. I have a little thing of hand lotion and then my lipstick. The only other thing I'll put in here is my pressed powder. I'm not one to like completely redo my makeup, but I will do a little pressed powder and lipstick. So that's really, other than my electronics, all I should need in flight. So I like that because it keeps me from rifling through everything else in my bag to, to get to what I need. And it's so small. And you know, if you needed any, you know, feminine products or whatever, this would be a great place to keep that as well. And you can just easily carry that and set it on on the little ledge in the bathroom and be good to go. So I wanna show you now that everything's out of it, really how big this is and the features of the interior of the bag. I love that there's a key fob. I take uh, public transportation when I go to the airport. So I frequently park my car at the train station. Although I think Scott is driving me in the morning, but there's nothing worse and it has happened to me than getting back from a flight and realizing I don't know where my keys are. It is the worst. You panic because you're like, I kind of need my car keys when I get to the train, especially if it's at night, you don't want to be looking for your keys. So the fact that there's a little key fob there is not a key fob. What would you call that? A key holder um, is really nice. And then on the inside, if you had a laptop, there is a laptop slot here. Um, I could put my iPad in there. My MacBook would fit in there. I'm not taking it on this trip, but it, then it has a little strap to secure your laptop. There is another big pocket right here. And then on the other side, there is a big zipper compartment and then two other smaller compartments. And then, and this is funny because I didn't even realize this was there till I'd had the bag for like three trips. There's a hidden compartment right here that is meant, look at, it looks like a little face. It looks like the sorting hat from Harry Potter. Anyway, <laughs> that is where you could put your umbrella if you had one and it's waterproof. So when you close your umbrella, you could stick it in there and it's not gonna get everything else in your bag wet. So that is a really, really nice feature. The only thing about that is when you go to set it flat, if, if it's, like it won't sit flat necessarily, but will still work on the top of your bag. So it it's not that it has, you know, some kind of magic powers or something. It's more that the efficiency of the space and everything that you can fit in it. I actually compared um, everything to my regular backpack to kind of see, you know, if, if my backpack was a better use of space. And I was able to fit far more in this bag than I was in my backpack. And again, I think it's the shape. I think it's what I'm taking and how I use the space. Uh, but I absolutely love it. After being on the hunt for like the perfect secondary bag to carry on the plane for a while, I feel like I finally found it. I did, I'm not even, let me put it this way. For the longest time, I would flip back and forth between different bags. I don't even think about it anymore. This is my go-to bag. So um, if you're thinking about getting it, it is a lot of money, um, but it is, in my view, 
actually a really good value because of the way it functions, especially if you travel a lot. I hope this review helped. I hope that if you enjoy these kinds of product reviews, we also do home organization and life tips and travel organization and a lot of home vlogs and things like that, or at least I hope we will. We just got started over here. So I'd love to see you subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And if you have any questions about the bag, please put those in the comments below. I hope whatever you're doing today, you're finding joy and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.